Hello everyone, my name is Jace and welcome back to another Minecraft Adventures episode. Now, as you can see, we got some shaders. I think these shaders look really nice. Uh, I, I usually don't like playing with shaders because a lot of them affect the way the game looks way too much and makes them look really, really bad in certain lighting, but really, really good in other lighting. But I like these. They're pretty basic and uh, they don't do too much. They just make the game look a lot nicer. But anyways, welcome back to another Minecraft Adventures episode. This is episode 16, 17, 15 something. I don't know. But in today's episode, first off, we still got a bunch of shulker boxes over here from the slime farm. So I need to put all this stuff up really quickly. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then after we get that done, I'm going to go ahead and get into what today's video is going to be about. All right. Now that that's finished, which I you know what you're thinking. How the heck did you do this? It's not important. What is important is food, okay? And we don't have really any food. We have a bunch of raw beef and we have all this other stuff, but we we have a lot of this cod. That's what I've been eating a lot lately is cod, and cod sucks. Uh, in, in, in this game, it's really bad. The saturation, which is a hidden value for food, which pretty much determines how long that food will keep you, uh, keep you full. Uh, pretty much, cooked cod has pretty low saturation. I believe it's like 1.8. And then something like steak would have, I, I want to say four, it's higher. That's all it is. It's higher. So pretty much what we're going to be doing today is making an automatic steak farm, cook farm, cow fucking farm. You know what I mean? We're going to get some cows. We're going to trap them. And then when they grow up, the babies are going to, okay. <laughs> we're going to get some cows. We're going to trap them. And when they have babies, those babies are going to fall out of the main chamber that the big cows are being held in. And they're going to go into a secondary area. And whenever those cows grow up, they'll automatically be killed and drop their leather and their steak. And it'll pretty much just be an unlimited, automatic, fully automatic. Well, no, not fully. <laughs> it'll be a fucking automatic farm for cows and food. Okay, we're going to need steak. We definitely need steak or something similar to steak. But steak to me is just the best one to farm because it gives you leather as well. So that's what we're going to do for today's episode. I'm not sure if I want to put the steak farm in the base or outside the base. Uh, probably outside because cows can be very loud. Uh, that's the only thing that is keeping me from wanting to put it inside the base. And I'm thinking maybe right there i think right here will be a decent area to put the cows for now uh, i don't even know if this will be the permanent base actually i was thinking the other day and i have noticed that when i build bases like this to where everything is pretty much in ground and it connects all to just one big tunnel in the ground i find that i don't feel like i'm doing as much like i don't think that it looks as good either uh, what I want to do, let me just go ahead and fly over there and show you guys, is I want to move bases in a few episodes. Maybe not anytime soon, maybe not in the next few episodes, but soon. I want to move bases somewhere, maybe over here in the plains biome. Uh, I might find a different plains biome. It doesn't have to be this one, but I definitely want to most likely move bases because... I want to start like building structures for everything instead of like having everything just be down in a tunnel in the ground and that'd be my base uh have like a giant base uh one that looks like a town af at the end of it because everything will pretty much have its own building assigned to it uh like how i have in the base currently we have a little room for smelting little room for enchanting and a storage room you know everything has its pretty much own room uh, I would like to take that idea and instead of having everything having its own room, like the enchanting room, uh, you know, the, the bedroom, everything will have its own house or own building or even more than a building, its own portion of the biome even. Like we could have an enchanting house or building, you know, a, a home home, a giant, giant storage building, uh, a bigger super smelter, uh, actual place for these villagers. Uh, definitely not just, I can't. Okay, it's like I was like, why can't I trade with them? What is going on? Look, I cannot trade. Why let me trade? I just want to trade. Anyways, uh, yeah, we definitely probably should do something like that. I think it'll look a lot better and it'll give me a uh, more desire to build things. I definitely get demotivated when it comes to bases like this. So that's probably an issue that I should have thought about before I made the whole base. But like I said, this isn't going to be anytime soon. Um, 
What I'm going to go ahead and do, though, is figure out what design I want to do for this cow farm because there are several designs. If I wind up copying a design from a YouTuber or someone out there in the community, I will, of course, uh, put them down in the description below and give them credit to the design. But I'm going to go ahead and figure out what I need to get and get this thing started construction. All right, guys. So I have thought about it for a minute, and I decided not to actually make a cow farm because... What I wanted it to be and the amount of effort that would have had to gone into it, not alone, I would have also had to make an entirely another farm because I don't have wheat. Uh, I didn't think of that, but uh, the amount of effort that would have had to go into a fully automatic cow farm is, is ridiculous. So what I decided to do instead is an automatic chicken farm. So for the past few hours, I've been designing this whole system array. Uh, this isn't just the chicken cooker. The chicken cooker is very small, actually. Um, this is an entire storage system and everything and filter system in it as well. Uh, it, this is just a bunch of simple components put together. If you wanted to build this, I'm sure you could figure it out. I, I'm, I am going to build it uh, in a few minutes when I hop back into the regular world. This is my testing world, but when I hop back into the regular uh, Adventures Let's Play world, we will build this. Um, but I want to explain how this works real quick because this did take a little bit of ingenuity um, So pretty much right here. We got a bunch of chickens and they're constantly laying eggs um, I don't know how many there are there's like 70 something uh, for entity cramming, but uh, There's a bunch of chickens in there laying eggs on these hoppers and these hoppers get fed into this dispenser And this dispenser is on a simple auto dispense thing with a comparator a repeater and some redstone and then that comes over here to this dispenser and shoots out some chicken eggs and they eventually hatch and they'll grow up. But the th problem that I've been having, and there might have been a simpler solution, I was being very stubborn, didn't want to look it up. But the problem I was having was the lava would dispense out and burn the items or be out way too quickly or not long enough or whatever. Um, so this is the solution I had to come up with. It's a very, very, very fast, I think it's maybe the fastest it can get um lava dispense uh, out of a dispenser uh we pretty much got a, a if you put observers facing to each other it creates a clock so what this does is this observer sees this this timer you know and then the red block comes over and it sees it for a second this redstone repeaters on the delay to where it'll be perfectly timed to where this dispenser will shoot out and then instantly retract it back this is the cow farm i came up with but this is not fully automatic at all, and I wasn't happy with it, so I didn't want to do that. Uh, but that pretty much makes it to where the lava will be out for the shortest amount of time possible. Now, the next part that was complicated is that was still burning some of the items because what I had here before was a slab. And I guess the slab was a little too high, and the chickens were sitting at too high of a position in the lava, and the items, when they dropped, were still getting burned. I would get, like... A couple things maybe out of like a bunch of chickens getting burned so what I went ahead and did was put snow down snow is pretty unique because it comes in layers you can get a uh, snow layers not snow uh, snow and you can just place on top of each other and get like custom sized blocks so this is I think four snow layers and it actually worked out perfectly to where the chickens once they grow up they're at the perfect height to where they'll still get burned by the lava but their drops actually don't get burned at all so you get all the drops this is after a few tests um so once the chickens die from there their items go down some hoppers into another simple dropper thing with a uh comparator going into some repeaters and then automatically it's going to drop the items and shoot them up this water path as soon as they come in and then this water path is just going over some hoppers i got soul saint here because the items were going a little too fast i don't actually know if that slows them down or not i just tried it but uh that's the little water filter for them to go through and then they pass over this hopper and this hopper is an uh, item filter so i'm filtering out anything that isn't cooked chicken i only want cooked chicken in those chests down there so for that, all I need is a comparator right here with this other redstone. I don't feel like explaining it. Uh, going over to this hopper, which pretty much locks this hopper until there's more chicken in here. And once this gets another chicken, it'll unlock this hopper. I'm sure this there shouldn't have been chicken in here. I'm sure it just messed up because I've been testing this for a while. But uh, actually, I'll go ahead and drop this chicken in there. Where's that? Okay. 
I'll drop all that chicken in there and you should see it. It'll go through here. And now once this gets back down to 18, it'll lock this hopper again. And there'll probably still be one or something in here. But it'll lock that hopper again and it won't let any more go through. That way, if the feathers, whenever they come through, they just go all they pass over this hopper and they go into this hopper, which is again into just a simple uh, dropper into some lava because I don't want feathers and anything else that might accidentally get into this farm will uh, go ahead and get thrown away too. Uh, I will eventually add another one of those right here uh, for overflow for the chickens so that if uh, all the chests are filled up it'll still just constantly get rid of those chickens and it won't cause any lag or anything. But this is the farm I'm going to build. It will probably look exactly like this minus like the block design i'll probably make it look a little bit better but i will have this amount of chess and everything will probably be exactly the same so i'm gonna go ahead and hop into the survival world get everything i need for this and i'll see you guys when i am there okay just do it so we are back at the survival world and we're gonna go ahead and start building the chicken farm and i got everything i need in the shulker box right here uh so i'm gonna go ahead and start out probably with the chest no not the chest um Let's get the glass and the stone bricks. I'm trying to picture where the center of this is, where all the chickens are going to be. And I think right here is where the start of it is going to start. So I want to actually put spruce logs here. I want to go ahead and uh, continue with the same sort of design I've been using for the rest of the builds, like this one and that one. Oh, also, this is a different shader pack than before. Uh, this is a slightly less demanding one, and it's slightly more, looks like regular Minecraft. It's less... Uh, super shaders and it's just really subtle uh i like this one a lot more uh so this is what i'm gonna use but anyways yeah i want to go ahead and use the same sort of design i've been using throughout the whole base so spruce logs on the sides right here and then we're gonna go ahead and have some chests uh not right there wait yeah right there uh two sets of them and just gonna go all the way up and just actually not all the way up, just three high. Don't need it. Don't need a whole bunch because I really don't think that I'll be using this a whole, whole lot. Like I'll probably just come in and grab chicken whenever I need it. Uh, everything's going to be automatic, so I'm not going to have to sort through anything. So we should have everything good to go. These actually need to be one over, not right there. I uh, need to have a space of five in between the logs. So they need to come right here instead and the chest i'm gonna bring out one more too so it'll be flush with the wall everything will match up with the design from the testing world so now we got a little bit of a wall set up uh the chickens are gonna go right here still need to put in the copper mine carts the hopper mine carts and all that Still need to put the hopper mine cart in. There actually, I don't know if I said it in the testing world, but there was actually a hopper mine cart in like right here where the chickens actually like died at. Cause I don't know actually from testing. Wait, no, actually I did test it. Testing it did prove that uh, if there wasn't a hopper mine cart in the block, that some of the items would still burn. So having a hopper mine cart just picks the items up a lot quicker. But I'm gonna go ahead and look back at the testing world and see what else this needs design wise like building wise and then we'll start with the actual uh technical part of the farm narrator narrator N narrator off that's so annoying okay so we need hopper we need dispenser we need uh, comparators we need not observers yet i'm not gonna do that part yet need redstone uh that should be it um we need to put Okay, I'm gonna go. The, I'm gonna do the hopper part, not last, but not yet. So we need to put a stone brick here, stone brick there, and dispensers. Right, not here, not here. Oh, I forgot. I had haste. Okay, so we need. What the heck? Okay, I was like, where the heck did the stone go? I just broke it. I guess there's more down under the. Or no, I'm blind. Okay, so we need dispenser here. I'm getting rid of everything. Dispenser there. Another one right here in front of here so the lava can come out. Or the, not the lava, but the eggs. Hoppers. Hopper, hopper. And this is where all the chickens are going to sit and lay their eggs. So we can go ahead and put the carpet on top of there. So that they don't fall up in the hoppers. It's not really going to change anything, I don't think. But, I don't know, I just would rather them not be stuck in the hoppers. There's more stone. I'm breaking everything with this haste. So it needs to look more like this instead of what it looked before. 
And I just need to go ahead and place down the redstone. And it's pretty simple. I need a comparator coming out the back here to sew that something's actually in there. Uh, repeater. You need a repeater to repeat the signal so it's strong enough to loop back in. And uh, does it need to come on the other side? I think so. That way it won't interfere with any other redstone. Now, if I put something in here, it should... Oh, wait, no. One more block right on top. Now it sh should obviously, it'll spit out any items that get in there as soon as it's in there. Uh, with eggs, when you put an egg in the dispenser, it'll sh like act like you threw the egg and it'll hatch it instead of just dropping it out. So that part is done. Now we only need to set up the redstone for the lava timer, which is the only hard part other than the storage system. It's the only hard part of the farm. Uh, hard is honestly subjective as well. All you need is some observers, some pistons, and a hopper timer. It's pretty simple redstone. Uh, it's just you got to combine it all in a certain way. Make sure everything works. So this is the redstone circuitry for the lava timer. And all it is is two observers that are going to face into each other once the sticky piston extends. The sticky piston is connected to a redstone repeater on a two tick delay and it, that is connected right into observer facing into a redstone block this redstone block is here to stop these hoppers and lock them for the timer all you're going to do is just put a stack of anything in there uh and it'll activate you know every few minutes every so often to where lava will spurt out for just a quick second and i think i can go ahead and just put the lava in here and once it goes down it should be able to should be able to show you guys uh, just how quickly the lava goes in and out and you'll, you'll be able to understand why I needed to time it like that Because the chickens and all their drops were getting lost and we don't need to Oh, I missed it. Okay. You had to have seen that. There's no way you missed that There's no way unless you're blind and, and deaf you had to have seen that the lava was out there for like a literal like 0.4 seconds And that's exactly how long we needed to stay out point exactly point four no we do need it to stay out just for a little bit of time so it doesn't actually kill the chickens with the lava but more or less with the fire from the lava i'm getting attacked go away uh instead of just the lava killing them it's mostly just the fire from the lava so it, instead of the lava killing them and them dying in the lava and their items burning they just die from the fire and their items get dropped so we need to put a block there we can go ahead and lock this off as well and there needs to be snow here hopper set up to the storage system i'm gonna do a bit of the storage system off camera mostly placing hoppers and stuff i'll explain a little bit of the technical stuff because I'm, I'm actually not too sure if i have explained a whole lot about the storage systems in minecraft uh so far in the series but i'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of the storage system and i'll come back halfway through and show you guys a little bit of the details about it That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> Alright, so I got a lot of the main placing of blocks out of the way. Uh, so pretty much what we got here is the chicken cooker. Got some hoppers running into the back of all the chests. Uh, if I can come over here without breaking anything. Uh, we got the redstone with the chicken thrower. We got the redstone with the fire. And over here with the, red, uh, the, the storage system, my bad. Right here, we pretty much have a hopper line coming from where the chicken drops. Uh, gonna die, burn, lava. You just saw it. Pretty cool, I know. Uh, anyways, they're gonna come here to this dropper. Uh, there's, there's gonna be water sources in each one of these blocks so that the items just flow up. They're gonna come out the top, run across a water stream up there. Let me get up here and show you guys what's going on up here. Uh, right over here, we have a very, sm a very small and uh, one item filter for just to filter, uh, just to sort only the the chicken breast that's all we want we only want the cooked chicken we don't want the feathers or anything so the feathers are going to come alongside the water stream right here laying in these two hoppers got two of them just in case uh i don't know no reason literally at all uh actually i'm pretty sure this is supposed to be one yeah that's what it's supposed to be okay so i messed up a little bit but i will go and fix it once i get done explaining everything there needs to actually be two hoppers here and this whole system needs to be moved over one and wire back down into that one but anyways uh this right here we've got a dropper into just the same simple thing we got down here just a 
a comparator coming out, detecting that there's an item in there, repeater boosting the signal to full strength, and then a redstone going back into the comparator to reset it, and a redstone going into the dropper to drop any items that are in there. And this is where all their feathers are going to come, and there's just going to be a lava source right here, and they'll just drop into the lava because we don't need them. Uh, and after that, we're just going to take this hopper line right here is going to go across the top over here and back into these and i'll put the items in there to filter and sort what we want do a little bit of finishing touches and the farm should be done so i'm gonna go ahead and fix the mistake do a little bit more and i'll show you guys where i'm at once i get everything finished so most of the farm is now finished i did a little bit of stuff finished the floor finished all that put the snow in there is one thing i wanted to say that i forgot to mention before when you come over here and you're doing this comparator uh to the dropper the little system right here you're gonna, gonna add a few more repeaters and you're gonna want to put them all on two delay that way or one that way whenever these items go up they're gonna okay i missed a, no that's just a weird reflection uh they're going to stack up, and the more items that are in a stack, the more momentum they have in water. And that means that when they flow across the water stream up top, wrong way, uh, they're going to have a little bit too much momentum if the pace isn't as slow as I have it set now. And that means whenever it comes over here, that all the items, all the chicken is going to bundle up, and it's going to go be going too fast for these two hoppers, and it's going to just slide right over them and go into the trash hopper, which you don't want. We're going to want to keep all our chicken for ourselves to eat. But uh, I have these two hoppers here and all this system set up with the uh, item, whatever, the filtration. You know, you know what I'm trying to say, okay? Let's get to the point. I have it all set up because just in case anything does fall in here, I want everything other than chicken to be destroyed i don't want feathers i don't want random stone blocks i don't want absolutely anything so we're actually going to cover this off that way most certainly nothing should be able to get in here and if i could you know ever make it flush all right so i'm going to go ahead and put in this Ooh, there's a creeper okay don't want him to blow up everything i just worked on so let me kill him kill him okay I'm going to go ahead and put this lava block in. There's so many mobs. I need to light this area up more. Put this lava block in for the trash. I will put the same dispenser lava trash set up over there. This is just going to make sure that once all the chests are filled up, there's just not like overflowing chicken all over the place and causing lag. It'll just throw it away and get rid of it. Uh, I need to get chickens. That's a big thing. But... I'm not going to do that this episode. I'm just going to build the farm this episode. I'll get the chickens off camera. Uh, need to get the chickens, though, and put some lighting up, finish the terraforming, make a pathway, and I think that should be it. So I will show you guys the completely finished farm here in a second. Uh, and before I do that, I actually want to come into the base and sleep so that all these monsters go away because there are a lot and we need to light up the area so that no more spawn but like i said in the last episode i don't even know how much longer i'm gonna be staying in this area maybe a little bit longer considering i'm building all this new stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and finish this uh chicken farm and i'll see you guys back whenever i have it completely 100 percent ready up and running minus the chickens uh in there laying the eggs Something real quick I want to show you guys because I just remembered that I actually didn't show you I don't think in the iron farm because a lot of the iron farm didn't record with the item filter You're gonna to want to rename just any random items You're gonna name four of them or depending on how many items you're gonna sort four items per per hopper That's gonna be filtering anything uh, just name it. It doesn't matter I'm gonna name it placeholder because it's what it is not placeholder. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it uh, uh, nine and that is pretty much just going to make it to where no matter what, whatever drops into this uh, hopper that's going to be filtering your things, no matter what, it shouldn't stack on top of these items that are going to be just kind of sitting there taking up space, uh, making sure that nothing, making sure that the hopper will lock once the items go in. So as you can tell now, this redstone torch is locking this hopper so that nothing's going to come in. But as soon as we put more than 18 or 17 items in, in this slot right here, it's going to activate the comparator, activate the redstone, activate the redstone repeater, and turn off the torch, unlocking the hopper. And as soon as there's less than 17 or 18 items in there, it'll, un it'll turn this back off and turn this back on, locking it again. 
and that's why you're going to want to put whatever item you're filtering in there because it'll add that item to the stack of 17 and each item over 17 will get filtered into the system but i'm gonna go ahead and finish the system i got the lava right here but i just wanted to make sure i said that before i forgot about it because i didn't think i said it before just making sure just making sure i'm covering all the base all right so i have finished the farm almost entirely the only thing i'm gonna add is maybe some lights here and there and definitely need it 100 percent add the chickens uh I, I like the design so far. I, I have a uh, the, the stone stairs here to make it sort of look like it's more recessed in the mountain. And I did a little bit of terraforming. But that is all the time I have for today's episode. If you did enjoy this episode, make sure to like, subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you all in the next episode.